this video is about this balloon die which is a die that will cut out and form these uh, balloon parts here three-dimensional the pancake die has this uh, forming component soldered to it and I use that to help make this negative female mold uh, that acts as a base for the die to sit on in the press while the parts being cut now this is actually turned into sort of a hybrid process where I have already um, for quite a while been using making and using these dies that are a one step cut and form die um, with low profile designs like shots or wires where you uh, cut the metal and form it all in one pressing like this pressing into a hard urethane pad. Now things get, that works fine. Um, not really any issues with that worth bringing up right now. Things get a little, uh, can get kind of funky when you, when you go deeper into a three-dimensional shape. So I decided to approach this as a two-step process um, where we will uh, f first form the shell over this with a urethane pad and then then load that into the die where it will then get cut and press it out um, a little bit more to get more detail in there. Now the, the reasons for that for doing it that way are because it's going to be less wear on the nylon block, less stress on the die and also uh, better alignment um, so that the die doesn't run into these stops and mangle them and um, uh, less damage to this nylon mold as it uh, as the metal is being formed against it. So let's go ahead and do that first step which is going to be forming it and it's, it's going to work better this first step to load the metal on there with the die in the open position and that is because when you try to do it like this, your metal just flops around. So, open that up, set that on there, and here's my pad. And it's a half inch, 80 durometer urethane. Now, what, not for this particular die, you can't go any thinner. Thicker is okay. This is a quarter inch deep form, so a minimum of a half inch thick urethane there. And take it up to maybe 10-15 tons maybe close to 20 so that gives you the shell most of the forming and so that that's there's a lot less for this die to do now which is good in a lot of ways um, one of them being when the metal is in there like this and you do, and you were to just set it on there and press it as it gets pulled in here it's scraping against the sharp edge of the die so there, you're uh, you're gonna have a lot of possibility of scraping the uh, front of your metal up here as it gets pulled in so that's one more reason to do it this way uh, now Step two, if, if you happen to cut a piece and it's longer down here, uh, longer than what would cover up this, these, two, these two holes right here, then you need to chop that off. Um, ideally, you, ideally, you'll just load it, have the right size piece and you'll load it in there the right way. You won't, that won't be an issue at all. So, open that up. And it's at this point it's kind of loose, so you want to um, be careful uh, when you're putting it in the die in the press. Now, it's not going to take a whole lot more pressure once this pops to get the forming that you want, uh, and uh, good reasons for not going real high are again less wear on the nylon block and less likelihood that you're gonna um, 
crack this nylon bottom, which you can do with a die, with a die like this. Um, if you just keep jacking it up, um, you might crack that piece. So it's not going to take much extra. Just that, maybe maybe ten tons, and there it is. Nice little. Formerly one-step process, now it's, it's a, the best way to do it is the hybrid two-step process.